estimated by 2050, there will be 9.8 billion people in the world. Human activity will increase at an unprecedented rate, driving Earth's temperatures to new heights. To minimize this impact, future cities have to be planned sustainably today to contribute positively to a healthier environment. Today, we get to meet one of the key environmental planners behind this endeavor. Hi, Andrew. Hey, nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. Good to see you be back. Yes. Tell me a bit about your development principles. Okay, listening to what the land has to tell us has guided our development principle, creating a sustainable environment for our community. To date, we have recorded 67 species of flora and fauna under conservation importance while preserving more than 400 acres of water bodies and 1,400 acres of parks developed. In line with Gamuda Green Plan, we aim to plant 1 million trees by 2023 to restore nature in our development, helping balance the temperature between urban and rural areas, mitigating climate change. Efforts are underway for a 90-acre forest park and a wetlands arboretum at Gamuda Cove. Approximately 3,000 trees will be preserved and another 7,000 trees will be planted. This will help decrease local air temperatures by several degrees. This will become a base for wildlife conservation, wetlands and forest research. They have also partnered with FRIM to carry assessments and surveys before the project's design stage. The Arboretum will share its borders with the Paya Indah Discovery Wetlands, acting as a seed bank for the forest and a research centre for biodiversity and fostering education. A good town making is about balancing people with nature. We hope the efforts that we put into our project today will enhance their lives of our community for generations to come.